Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Em. And today's video, I'll be introducing another note-taking app that is not only for digital note-taking, but also a PDF reader. It's an all-in-one study tool, and this is Flexil. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Before we start, I would like to thank Flexil for sponsoring this video and please stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'll be listing down the pros and cons of this note app. So now let's head on to the video. Flexil is compatible with iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch with OS 13 or later. It also supports Android 8 and up and Harmony OS. The app is free to download but with in-app purchases. Now let's open the app and get to know the good features. The homepage has a clean UI design which feels more like a professional or office type of note app like MS Word if you know what I mean. Unlike in Killer Notes which is on the cuter girly type kind of note app. Anyway, moving on, down here is the store icon where you can purchase planners and the Flexil standard which is a one-time purchase to unlock the following features. In the settings icon, there's the information about Flexil and here are their social accounts that you can follow. Next is the general settings. Under the data management, you have an option to clear cache. You can also keep your iPad awake while using the app and an option to recover file list. I'll be going through the other settings as we go on in the video. Now let's go over to the left side of the homepage. You can see here the search tab, the documents, the trash, and the files tab. You can also log into your drive and down here are your recent files and your favorite section. All your notebooks and notes and PDFs are shown in this tab and also are organized per category. On the upper right corner, you'll see the icon where you can select files to be merged, which is a good thing if the files are off the same topic. Then you can duplicate them, move to folders, export, and delete files. The blue plus icon is where you can add new folders, edit the name of your folder, and choose colors from the presets. You can also add quick notes. And to create new note, tap the plus icon again and you'll be choosing from the few decent cover designs available. Or if these are not to your liking, just choose not to have a cover at all. Then for the templates, there are very few to choose from, unfortunately. There's just the basic and the standard paper styles. You can also choose the paper orientation, whether portrait or landscape. Beside that are the three paper colors available, the so yellow, black, and white. And don't forget to name your notebook, then hit done. Now onto the main toolbar. You can move your toolbar on the four sides by holding or tapping this icon here. Up here you can see the tabs of the recent open notes, but you can just exit the ones you don't need as of the moment. There's only one type of pen in the pen tool and that is a ballpoint. You can adjust the thickness up to 20 max. The ballpoint is a standard pen which is very common to use in all note apps. But if you want calligraphy type, a felt pen or a brush pen is a good addition. You can draw a straight line by holding for a second or two, but if you want to continuously use straight lines, let's say for drawing graphs, you can enable the straight line option. You can see that the icon changed. A ruler is added beside the pen, so this indicates that the pen is only for drawing straight lines and you won't be able to write, but just draw lines. You can choose the line type, whether a solid line, a broken, or a dotted line. There's a bunch of colors to choose from. You have your standard colors, you can add colors from the palette, or even type in the color code that you want. There's also the eyedropper tool if you want to choose from within your page and also delete the ones you dislike. Then we have the highlighter tool. There are two types of highlighter, the box one and the round tip. You have the pen thickness up to 40 max and adjust the opacity. 
There's also a straight line option, same function with that of the pen tool. Then your color options. As you can see, these are the default sets for each pen type, but you can add more if you want to or delete the ones you don't need. Next is the eraser tool. You can choose the thickness of your eraser up to 50. If you're on the single page view, you can clear the whole page and if you're on the two page view or four page view, you can select a certain page to clear. You can also erase the pen or the highlighter only. And there's the option to auto deselect which will automatically go to your previous tool. I kind of dislike this option so I always turn it off. The next icon is not a ruler tool but a shape tool. This auto perfects the shape you want, but it doesn't recognize heart shape or other not so basic shapes. The next toolbar is the text tool. Here you have an option to change font, font style, size, and color, but these colors are just the standard ones, which are not bad. Once you deselect your text box, you won't be able to go back to edit, so what you're going to do is select your text using the lasso tool. You can just tap over your text and tap the letter T in the option. So going back to the lasso tool, you can choose between the rectangle or the freeform to select the pen or highlight image or text box only, or any of the combination you want. You can change the color of your text, copy, delete, or move your selection, but there's no option to convert your handwriting to type text. To insert image, tap the media icon and you can add photos from your camera or your gallery and resize, crop, copy, delete, and move your images. Another way of adding photos is by dragging them from the internet or your library. If you're sharing your screen in Zoom meetings or online class, you can use a laser pointer which you can customize the color. And if you don't like the laser line, you can disable and just use the pointer only. The audio recording is very helpful in note taking. In the settings, you can enable the option to sync all your notes on multiple documents during recording. You can also adjust the playback speed. You can also merge notes during audio playback into existing sync data and the note replay to sync audio with your notes. To maximize your workspace, just tap the arrow down here. You can also maximize your workspace by tapping the dots icon up here, and also you can disable the status bar in the settings. In the document viewer, you can choose to scroll vertically or horizontally for both background and pop-up documents. There's also a multi-page view option. We have the single page, a two-page, and a four-page view. You also have the following reading options which you can enable and turn off at any time. In the pen tool setting, you can enable auto deselect shape tool which will automatically go to the previous tool you used. I'm not a fan of dark mode but if you're a lover of this, you can enable that in the settings. When using the gestures in Flexil, you can either use your fingers or your iPad pencil. 
First, you need to activate the gesture mode by tapping the blue pen here. The settings for the gestures is in this icon where you can enable capture annotation. There are two ways to select your text. One is by drawing a bracket. This is not just any bracket but a slightly bent line like an open parenthesis. And from here, you can choose to underline with color or use the highlighter. There's also an option to copy your selection and bookmark them. Another gesture to select is by drawing a circle around the contents you want to highlight. Same options as before. There are also two ways to capture images and texts. One is the L gesture. Draw an L on the corner of the contents you want to capture, and from there, adjust the size of your selection. Another way is to draw a box around the text or images. You can also erase by scratching out texts. Another gestures which are very common to note apps are the undo with two fingers and redo with three fingers. Since we're talking about gestures, let's head on to the next feature which is one of the highlights of Flexil and this is the pop-up document or pop-up note. So if you're doing a research or you have tons of PDF documents to work on, this can come in handy. Now, to use the pop-up note, you can either tap this icon up here or use your three fingers and swipe up and to close it, just use the three fingers again and swipe down. Using the gestures I've mentioned earlier, you can copy a certain content and paste it here. You can also use the toolbar to annotate or go to the notebook itself in the document section. Another way is to drag and drop your selection. If you've noticed, links are created for both the original source and the duplicated one. This is an easier way to navigate or track the original PDF document or the notes with the duplicated content. If you want to add a page before your current page, just swipe to the right. And if you want to add a page after that, just swipe to your left. The icon on the upper right corner is where you can see all the pages of your notes or your PDF documents. The outlines, the bookmarks, the pages with annotations, drawings, and links. On the opposite side, the four squared icon here lets you see all your notebooks with the pages on the right side where you can select to move, duplicate, copy, export, or delete your selection. Also, you can add pages by tapping the plus sign here. Organizing documents makes your notes easier to find or simply makes it look a bit cleaner and less confusing. Here, you can sort your files by name, date, and even by file size. You can also choose from the thumbnail and list view option. Flexil also has their own digital planners and here is their standard one. This kind of look like the Hobonichi Planner, which is a Japanese-style journal. If you're a minimalist, this will do, but if you're more on the collage, cute sticker type side, you can still work on your creativity here, or import your own digital planners. They also have a very simple productivity stickers available in their sticker book, but you can also import your own stickers or get them from the internet or gallery. Unfortunately, you can't search handwritten text in Flexil. In the trash tab, you'll see this icon where you can restore all your deleted notes from the trash bin, and at the same time, you can delete them permanently. Exporting a PDF file is also one of the highlights in Flexil. This is not the usual export option that you see in other note-taking apps. So you have two options. One is to export as a flattened PDF, 
which is a read-only type, and there's the editable version. You can export a PDF with editable annotations, images, text boxes, handwritings, and page background. You also have an option to add cloud storage and choose from the list. Unfortunately, there's no syncing and auto backup, but you can backup your data manually and restore data. So overall, the writing experience is the same as Nebo, which is very responsive and feels very smooth. This is definitely better than many other Note apps, and if you want to try it out, the link is down in the description box. Moreover, here are the pros and cons of Flexil. Okay guys, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and please do subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Peace.